All right, you guys, Alicia here again. Uh, they say it's their time to charm, so hopefully this video is going to work. The first time uh, I was just having issues. The second time my phone went and said memory full. So here we go again. This is an Alice in Wonderland junk journal, as you can you know, very well imagine based on the cover. For a swap that I'm doing over at Junk Journal Junkies, my partner is Alyssa, so hopefully she likes it. This paper I've had for quite a while, it's just out of a Disney pack. And I have some clock hands if I can find them, like they're actual clock hands that I picked up from the thrift store to add to the cover. Um, if I don't find them, obviously I won't add them. And this is just blank, so I'll probably add something before sending that off. I have the filing cards spelling Alice throughout the journal, so there's A. This is a the dodo bird from one of my uh, children's books or many books. I'm actually quite glad now that I have all these books. I have uh, way too many and I often think what am I going to do with them but then I'm like hmm and also wonder on junk journal and I have nothing. So it was really convenient actually to have uh, some of these pictures books that I could cut out of. This is from an Ellis book obviously. This is uh, just some yellow note paper. And what I've done for some of them is I actually photocopied them. Uh, just in case I want to make another Alice in Wonderland journal and because I'm not selling it, I wasn't too worried about uh, the copying. And then this is a pocket here and some washi tape and a stamp. And in the pocket this goes actually, but obviously like this, third time. A rose envelope I made with some rose cards. And it's kind of cool, these uh, cards, the back of them, kind of look like this rose tree that I got out of an Ellis book. Uh, big index cards. And sorry for the shadows, you guys, it's uh, about 9.30 at night here, and so there's not really a lot I can do about it. This is from the game Hammer, just a game sheet, and I thought for the croquet that they play, Flamingo, that I got from another book that I had. L for Ellis, the Mad Hatter's Tea Party, and this is, you know, obviously just cut out uh, from the book, Alice in Wonderland. This is the pocket, this is the eye, and then this is a tuck spot. There's a uh, paper clip here and then I figure, you know, they don't lose whatever they tuck there. It's her hair from this side. What I did, photo when I photocopied them, I cut them into circles because uh, a lot of the pictures in this book were a circle shape already, so I just thought that was fun and I left it that way and moved it to white background. This envelope uh, tutorial I got from Full Time Mar on uh, Junk Drill Junkies as well, and it has multiple pockets here and then here and then the other side. So there's three pockets on top a pocket here and a pocket here. And I might put tags in there or whatever, I'm not really sure yet. This is from a bingo game that I got from my thrift store. More rose paper. A recipe for jam tarts. A recipe card. Um, like I think I already said, I did a lot of improvising because I didn't have a whole lot of Ellis themed stuff to work with and I didn't, you know, have a huge budget to go and buy all kinds of stuff, so I tried to be creative with what I had. The mushrooms, and then this I like. I had a mush I have a mushroom stamp that I really like. So I just had googly eyes to it to match the mushrooms on this page. The C for Alice. The bunny. I seem to have somehow ended up with bunny and roses as the main theme, and it wasn't deliberate. I was looking at it the other night and I thought, hmm, I should get some more things in there. And so I uh, actually ended up photocopying more images. Here's the Candyland one. And it talks about, and I don't know if this is in the original Alice story, but the, I have Alice and Friends or something. Talk about eating some kind of lemon cupcake. So then there's a lemon cake recipe on here and the stamped a hat for the Mad Hatter. A quote at the bottom and a playing card pocket. Another recipe card. Alice in the 
magnifying glass, and my mini cards, with obviously the Queen of Hearts on it, more yellow paper. I don't know if Alyssa's a writer, I am, so uh, I would, you know, I like junk journals that have lots of space for writing and pictures and whatever. I do all kinds, I use them, you know, for everything from gluing things down to writing things. Um, just another part of the book that I cut off this page and I figured I may as well stick it in there. I like this image a lot, so this one is a photocopied one, I think it looks cool. I cut a little, the little caterpillar off one of the pages. And then what I've done here is, if she is a writer, this all comes out so she can put pages in wherever she wants. Or if she isn't a writer, she can just take it out and not worry about it. And then the back it says, Alice met a rabbit who kept her on the run. She thought that if she followed him, she might have some fun. Instead of falling fast asleep, she should have watched the clock. Now she always knows what time, because her necklace goes tick-tock. So that was just also from the book, and I thought it would be a fun thing to add. And then I stamped um, one of the stamps on it on white, cut it out by Alicia Wheeler. Uh, fairly plain, nothing too extraordinary. I had fun making it, and I really struggled making it with making this one, to be honest. And I kept thinking, deadline's gonna come before I have a junk journal. What am I gonna do? And then uh, the other night, I just got, I don't know, inspiration from somewhere, and put it together. So I'll probably add a few more bits and baubles to it, and then I will be sending it off to Alyssa. Hope you like it. Um, thanks for watching. Leave a comment.